Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to be having a look at the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. It has been 12 months since its launch and in this video, we are going to be figuring out whether this laptop is best buy for 2021 or not. Hi guys, I'm your host Shamit Seth and without any further ado, let's get started. One of the most surprising aspects of MacBook Pro is its design. The fact that this laptop has a 16 core GPU and a 13 inch IPS Retina display and it weighs just 1.4 kgs just blows my mind away. Although the cosmetic design remains the same as the previous versions, this time it's slightly thicker. Unfortunately, there is a 720p webcam as last year's which is slightly disappointing. The port layout also remains the same, it has two Thunderbolt, three ports and a headphone jack. If you are a creator, I would recommend you to buy the Apple USB hub which costs around 2800 rupees which will fulfill all your port needs. The display on this one is the same old IPS Retina True White Color display which was used in the previous MacBook Pro. It's okayish for creativity although if we compare it with other creator specific laptop like Spectre, Zenbook, XPS, it has the lowest DC IP3 rating of 78.3%. However, you will have to pay a fortune for all these laptops to get hands-on that 100% color accuracy. It has a peak brightness of 435 nits which is better than Zenbook and Spectre. However, the XPS 13 was the brightest with 469 nits. Well, the only spec bump I saw in this MacBook Pro is the new Apple M1 chip. Apart from that, the GPU is a 16 core M1 GPU working on a single neural engine. It will handle most of the work you throw at it. I tested it for multitasking, opened a lot of apps at one go and the opening and closing of apps was smooth. It's rocking the Mac OS Big Sur which is the latest Mac OS. I love the speaker setup on this laptop which has definitely been improved. There are stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos and also you have three microphones with directional beam forming. Beam forming technology in audio helps in detecting and extracting desired source signals and helps in suppressing unwanted interferences which is definitely a useful feature for students attending online classes. The company's Magic Keyboard delivers bouncy firm feedback and combines that with large keycaps and generous key spacing. The backlighting underneath the keycaps is bright enough to use in darkened settings. The MacBook also has the touch bar which can serve up helpful shortcuts depending on the app currently running. And there is also a touch ID button placed just at the right end. I faced a little difficulty using the trackpad on MacBook. This may be because I am used to my Windows laptop trackpad. Although there is ample space to navigate on the trackpad and it's quite responsive as well. We can take this info with a grain of salt but the Mac underperformed in my use by giving 15 hours on screen time including both video playback and web browsing instead of the promised 17 hours web and 20 hours on video. Now comes the part where you decide if you want to fish out money from your pocket. It costs a fortune worth 1,32,000 INR. Now is the time when you contemplate your life choices and choose if you want to spend a fortune on a MacBook Pro or go for something else like Zenbook, XPS and Spectre which are definitely costly laptops but I think they justify their prices. I think you should definitely wait for the more powerful M1 chips which would hopefully be revealed by fall 2021 and if you're thinking of upgrading to a MacBook you should definitely look forward to MacBook 14 series. That being said we come to the end of this video. This was my take on the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any queries regarding this laptop then you can feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I would be happy to answer to all of them. With that being said, if you're new here, then do consider hitting the subscribe button and also pressing the like button, which will keep us motivated to bring such content for you all daily. That being said, this is Shomit Seth signing off. Peace out.